The first element of the spacecraft for Artemis III, a NASA astronaut assigned to a future commercial crew flight, and a strong storm seen from space. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. The first piece of the Orion spacecraft's pressure vessel for our Artemis III mission is at our Michu assembly facility in New Orleans. It's a window panel that will provide a view for astronauts on the mission that will land the first woman and next man on the moon in 2024. Astronaut Jeanette Epps has been assigned to the first operational crewed flight of Boeing's CST-100 Starliner, targeted for launch to the International Space Station in 2021. She'll join fellow NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Josh Cassida for a planned six-month expedition aboard the orbiting laboratory. From inside the space station, astronaut Chris Cassidy captured views of Hurricane Laura in the Gulf of Mexico while external cameras also spotted the storm. Laura made landfall in the U.S. in southern Louisiana on August 27th as a Category 4 hurricane. With NASA's eyes on the solar system, you can follow in real time our Mars 2020 Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter as they trek millions of miles over the next six months to the red planet. Find out how at eyes.nasa.gov. According to new simulations, an observational effect known as microlensing might help our Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope find numerous rogue planets not tied to a host star that are freely drifting through our galaxy. Studying these island worlds will help us understand more about how planetary systems form, evolve, and break apart. Former astronaut Gerald Jerry Carr passed away August 26th. He commanded the last Skylab mission that investigated the effects of long-duration spaceflight on the human body. Later, his experience also influenced the cockpit design of the space shuttle, as well as the importance of considering human factors in spaceflight. Jerry Carr was 88 years old. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.